Hey guys, welcome back to WixFix. Hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's quick tip, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make wider websites in the classic editor. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, then you already know that we use this technique almost every time we use the classic editor. However, if you are new around here, you might find this tip very useful. So if we look at the classic editor, we're going to notice two vertical dotted lines, one right here on the left hand side and one right here on the right hand side. And basically what that is saying is when we add content in between these two lines, then that content is going to show up no matter what screen size it is on. So it could be a small tablet, it could be a, a laptop, in it, or it could show up on a large screen like this. However, if we try to add something outside these lines like that, then on smaller screen sizes, like laptops or tablets, that content is just going to disappear. So you might be wondering how exactly we can fix this. And the answer is something called strips. So if we go to add, go down to strip, and we're gonna go to classic and just pull out this basic one right here. When we pull this out, you're gonna notice that this strip is basically just a block that stretches the full width of the screen. And you're also gonna notice it still has these two dotted lines. And if we add content inside of it and we shrink down the screen, it'll still be visible. But if we move this content outside these dotted lines, the same exact thing is gonna happen. That content will disappear. However, the cool thing about strips is, what we can do is click on the strip, come over to layouts and press add column. So when we split this into two columns, you're gonna notice that each column has its own pair of two dotted lines. So if we click the left one, you're gonna see that. If we click the right one, we're gonna see this. However, if we click on the page, we're gonna notice the original two lines. And we're gonna see that the content is technically outside of these two lines. However, because it's in these columns inside the strip, when we resize the screen, they're still gonna show up. And we can use this technique to create a wider header. For example, if we go down the strip, pull out this basic classic strip, we can make this height of it 111. We're gonna add a column. And then what I wanna do is click this left column, press layouts again and say align to the left, and then click the right column, press layouts and align to the right. Now what that did was move the dotted line over to the left. So now we can put content over here. And for the right column, it did the exact opposite. Now, if we put a line to the left here, then we can put content on the left side of this dotted line. But if we press align content to the right, then we can put content to the right. So now if I move my logo inside of this column and press preview, then you're gonna notice that it doesn't move or disappear on any screen size. And then maybe over here on the right side, we want to add a little menu. And as long as we make sure it's on the right side, then it doesn't matter what screen size we are viewing the site on. It's always gonna be responsive. Then if we grab out another strip, we can make this one taller and we'll change the background to an image. And maybe we want to add content over here to the left. Now, if you've been paying attention, then you probably know if we add content over here to the left and we resize the screen, that content is going to disappear. However, if you are paying attention, then there is a trick that we can do. We can press the strip press layouts and say align content to the left. Now that moved the dotted line over to the center and it allows us to put content over here on the left hand side. So now when we preview the site and we shrink it down, then we're gonna notice that the text is not moving. And that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you did learn something, please consider liking the video and consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. Thank you guys again and I'll see you on the next one.